right, so here we go. We're going to have a look at starting fires using chemicals. Now, the chemicals that I sent you are this one, which is a liquid. This is glycerin. And you can see in the bottom there's a very, very thick liquid in there. It's got the consistency of honey. This is uh, quite a large bottle of it, but you can tell it's quite old. If I flip it round, you can see that it's got a use-by date of November 2002. So a bottle like this will last you a very, very long time. This is what we're using for the fuel. Now we need something to make the fuel go, and what we use is this substance. It's called potassium permanganate. It's an oxidising powder. Uh, it's very dark purple, very fine crystals, or um, a powder. And uh, as you can see on the hazard uh, labelling on here, it's an oxidizer, it's harmful, and it's harmful to aquatic organisms. When you mix these two together, there's a chemical reaction that takes place where the glycerin robs the potassium permanganate of all of the spare oxygen that it has in the molecule. And that causes a lot of heat and it bursts into flames. I'll just show you what the potassium permanganate looks like. So here we go. Here's some out of my kit. You may recognise the bottle. And you can see there that it's a very, very fine purplish looking powder. I'll just zoom in a little bit there so that you can see it. Okay, so there we are. Very, very fine powder. If you buy it and it's the crystals, then that's easy enough. Just simply grind it up, and uh, uh, once you've ground it up, put all of the crystals in. And put them, sorry, put the powder in a bottle similar to this one, somewhere where they're going to keep the water out of them, because we don't want too much water in there. Okay. Now the other thing that you've got in your kit is some of this. Now mine is coloured pink, yours is just white. And all of this is, is cotton wool, which has been soaked in a mixture of Vaseline and candle wax. You can see that the, uh, the Vaseline there makes it quite pliable. And this is what we're going to use once the fire's started. We'll use this as the fuel, so that that will then set light to your kindling. Okay, let's go and give it a try. Alright, so we're going to have a go at starting these fires then. Now, what you want to do is just form yourself a little paper cone like this. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but just something that will get the, uh, the fuel and the permanganate off the deck. A little bit of permanganate in there. There. Now, there's probably about as an eighth of a teaspoonful there. We don't need an awful lot. And in goes the glycerin. Once more, you don't need an awful lot. There we are, that's it. And once you've got it that far, then it's a good idea just to seal the top of that over so that way any heat that's generated gets kept in the package of any weight. Now this can take anywhere up to five minutes before it goes so don't be in a hurry and if it doesn't go first off then just hang on. This is done under fairly representative conditions. It's raining and it's cold here at the moment, so this is uh, not far off worst case. And there we are, on goes the wax pad. And that's it, you've started your fire. Now with the wax pad on there, that will burn now for uh, a good two or three minutes. Gives you enough time to get the rest of the kindling on. Okay mate, it's all yours.